okay so this is the part 2 of uh, the secret of the golden flower and as I am uh, reading this text then a number of secrets are becoming clear which no other text till date could convey so this is uh, like what I am stating is actually praise for this document so the part one was interrupted when a call started coming so that had to be stopped and now we will continue <clears throat> yeah so we saw like uh, the person is uh, sitting and he is uh, focusing uh, he is focusing on the center to circulate the light so the one effective to human nature when it descends into the house of the creative divides into anima and anima so as uh, <coughs> it will descend uh, it will it is going to divide uh, between animus and anima animus is the is in the heavenly heart it is uh, of the nature of light it is the power of lightness and purity <coughs> the anima partakes of the nature of the dark it is the energy of the heavy and the turbid it is bound to the bodily fleshly heart the animus loves life the anima seeks death the dark returns to darkness and like things attract each other according to their kind <coughs> but the pupil understands how to distill the dark anima completely so that it transforms itself into the pure light yang So now what they are saying only the true human nature of the primal spirit can transcend the cycle of heaven and earth and the fate of the aeons. <coughs> so now in this part they are telling how the conscious spirit becomes and becomes independent of the body So now here they are telling and uh, this uh, could be uh, true also like what they are because many people experienced the same thing uh, and they passed on the full text. So when birth happens then conscious spirit inhales the energy and thus becomes the dwelling of the newborn and it lives in the heart and the primal spirit loses its place while the conscious spirit has the power. And now they are telling like how the spirit energy will leave the body if it leaves 
passes out by the upper openings of mouth and nose the pure and light energy rises upwards and floats up to heaven and becomes the fivefold present shadow genius or shadow spirit but if during life the primal spirit was used by the conscious spirit for avarice for the desire and lust and committed all sorts then in the moment of the spirit energy is turbid and confused <coughs> and the conscious spirit passes out together with the breath and through through the lower openings of the door of the belly if the spirit energy is turbid and unclean it crystallizes downwards and sinks down to hell and becomes a demon therefore the master says if it moves that is not good so how uh, person needs to start the work that is mentioned over here so person has to forget uh, both body and heart heart must die the spirit live when the spirit lives the breath will begin to circulate in a wonderful way the four stages of rebirth are characterized here rebirth out of water and spirit is the development of the pneumatic body within the perishable body of the flesh in this there is apparent uh, relationship to the thought of paul and john so what they are saying this is not just empty talk this is sequence of the great way so in the true method of producing an eternally living and immortal spirit and a holy man so now what they are saying circulation of the light and protection of the center so spirit fire will come only after 100 days uh, they are saying only after concentrated work of 100 days will the light be genuine so in the midst of light a point of true light then suddenly there develops the seed pearl Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> by concentrating the thoughts one can fly, by concentrating the desires one falls. Only through contemplation and quietness does true intuition arise. For that the backward flowing method is necessary. The seed blossoms of the human body must be concentrated upward in the empty space.
within our so look at the beauty of this line within our six foot body we must strive for the form which existed before the laying down of heaven and earth if today people sit and meditate only one or two hours looking only at or at their own egos and call this reflection how can anything come out of it so what they are saying breathing patterns they will quieten the breathing and then they will contemplate and uh, fixation a point they will be fixed one must examine where the thought is where it began and where it faded out to get behind consciousness is consciousness so here what they mean is if some thoughts are arising look from where they arose how they arose where they are fading out so because a person would be sitting for hours and hours and or maybe a long time so he needs to contemplate also and he needs to fix also
the master hinted at this secretly when he said that at the beginning of practice one must sit in a quiet room the body like dry wood uh, the heart like cool ashes <coughs> when one closes the eyes then one should take as a measure a point on the bridge of the nose which lies not quite half an inch below the but the deeper secrets cannot be affected without making the breathing rhythmical so now this is <coughs> excuse me chapter 4 circulation of the light and making the breathing rhythmical so you don't seek success what it's saying success will then come of itself so now what they are saying breathing comes from the heart so but if your heart uh, is rushing stirring there develops breath energy breath energy is originally transformed activity of the heart when our ideas go very fast they imperceptibly pass into fantasies
one should not be able to hear with the ear the outgoing and intaking of the breath. So basically what they are saying is you should not be able to hear the breathing. So make it very quiet, make the heart very quiet, make the breathing very very quiet. All at once it becomes so quiet that it stops. Then the true breathing is manifested and the form of the heart comes to consciousness. Every movement of the heart affects breath energy. So now what they are saying, the awakening of the spirit is accomplished because the heart has first died. When a man can let his heart die, then the primal spirit wakes to life. So it has become one. It doesn't mean it has killed. Okay, so where were we? Chapter 4 The Buddha said, when you fix your heart on one point, then nothing is impossible for you. The heart easily runs away, so it is necessary to concentrate it by means of breath energy. Breath energy easily becomes rough. Therefore, it has to be refined by the heart. When that is done, can it then happen that it is not fixed? The two mistakes of indolence and distraction must be combated by quiet work that is carried on daily without interruption then success will certainly be achieved if one is not seated in meditation one will often be distracted without noticing it to become conscious of the distraction is the mechanism by which to do away with distraction So now what they are saying, while sitting, one must therefore always keep the heart quiet and the energy concentrated. How can the heart be made quiet by the breath? 
so these are two interconnected breathing and the heart only the heart must be conscious of the flowing in and out of the breath it must not be heard with the ears if it is not heard then the breathing is light if light it is pure if it can be heard then the breath energy is rough if rough then it is troubled if it is troubled then indolence and lethargy develop and one wants to sleep that is self evident one should only let the light fall quite gently on the hearing unrhythmical breathing uh, comes from the heart's unrest therefore one must breathe in and out quite softly so that it remains inaudible to the ear and only the heart quietly counts the breaths so now what they are saying is when then there is no need to count the five senses order themselves according to the heart and the spirit must have recourse to breath energy so that the heart and breath are harmonized in this way there is need at most of daily work of a few quarter hours for heart and breathing to come of themselves into the right sort of collaboration and harmony then one need no longer count and breathing becomes rhythmical of its own so now we are on chapter 5 
this means the master has become the servant if when terry is in the stage long he enters the world of illusory desires at best one finds oneself in heaven at the worst among the fox spirits such a fox spirit it is true may be able to roam in the most famous mountains enjoying the wind and the moon the flowers and fruits and taking his pleasure in coral trees and jewels but after having done this for 3 to 5 100 years or at the most for a couple of thousand years his reward is over and he is born again into the world of turmoil all of these are wrong paths for a man knows the wrong paths he can then inquire into the confirmatory signs one must get up and walk around a little until heart and energy are again in unison only then can one return to meditation in meditating a man must have a sort of conscious intuition so that he feels energy and breathing unite in the field of the elixir he must feel that a warm release belonging to the true light is beginning to stir dimly So, chapter number six: Confirmatory experiences during the circulation of the light. So, what here they mean is that some signs that you will notice, uh, which will confirm to you that what you are doing is right. if when there is quiet the spirit has continuously and uninterruptedly a sense of great joy as if intoxicated or freshly bathed it is a sign that the light principle is harmonious in the whole body then the golden flower begins to bud Furthermore the whole body feels strong and firm so that it fears neither storm nor frost things by which other men are displeased when i meet them cannot be cloud the brightness of the seed of the spirit so this is another sign so yellow gold fills the house the steps are of white jade torn and stinking things on earth that come in contact with one breath of the true energy will immediately live again red blood becomes milk the fragile body of the flesh is sheer gold and diamonds that is a sign that the golden flower is crystallized
At times, the following can be explained as soon as one is in the quiet, the light of the eyes begins to blaze up, so that everything before one becomes quite bright, as if one were in a cloud. If one opens one's eyes and sees the body, it is not to be found anymore. This is called in the empty chamber. It grows light inside and outside. Everything is equally light. It uh, seems to remain sitting. One feels as if drawn upward. Uh, the fleshly body becomes quite shining like silk or jade. The spirit returns and touches heaven. So this is what chapter 7, the living manner of the circulation of the light. When in ordinary life one has the ability always to react to things by reflexes only without any admixture of a thought of others or of oneself, that is a circulation of the light arising out of circumstances. So what finally they are saying, mingle with the world, be with them but still don't be like them. So that is what they are saying, if one cultivates one actions while mingling with the world and is still in harmony with the light then the round is round and the angular has angles, then he lives among men mysterious yet visible, different and yet the same and none can compass it. Then no one notices our secret actions. The living manner of the circulation of the light has just this meaning. A magic a chapter 8. A magic spell for the far journey. 
four words crystallize the spirit in the space of energy in the sixth month white snow is suddenly seen to fly at the third watch the sun's disk sends out blinding rays in the water blows the wind of the gentle wandering in heaven one needs the spirit energy of the receptive and the still deeper secret of the secret that land that is nowhere that is the true home these verses are full of mystery the meaning is the most important things in the great tao are the words action through non action non action prevents a man from becoming entangled in form and image action is non action prevents a man from sinking into numbing emptiness one must first see that body and heart are completely controlled that one is quite free and at peace letting go of all entanglements untroubled by the slightest excitement and with the heaven the heart exactly in the middle it is uh, not only the light in the abyss but it is creative light which meets creative light so with this like i am going to stop over here and uh, basically like you can go over this manual if you search on google you will find it uh, the golden flower secret of the golden flower pdf So I'm going to stop over here because it's already 
become uh, quite big at 52 minutes so but what more is there let's just look at it so finally they are giving the summary of the Chinese concepts on which is based the idea so I'm going to stop over here